Here for a bit is political analyst Scott Hughes. Welcome back to Keel. Thank you for taking time. Good morning, Robert and Aaron. Hold on. Thank you for taking time. Glad to be here. Oh, yeah. there we go. Okay. <laughs> so quite the week in Shreveport mayoral politics. Mm -hmm. And I guess the first story we want to tackle, we want to take up with you is is the it wasn't really an interview. It was just sort of a phone a conversation combo. that Aaron had with State Senator Greg Tarver. And I asked him if he was supporting Adrian Perkins. Was he going to come out and support him officially? And he said, I'm no longer supporting Mr. Perkins. And this is the quote. Adrian Perkins is not the person I thought he was. He is not a man of his word. And he misrepresented himself to me. That's a direct quote. Surprised by that? A um, little surprising. There, it, it could mean one of several things, but, I mean, Greg clearly didn't seem to mince his words with that quote. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Um, something obviously happened. Is that what you would think? Something's obviously happened because they were obviously together when this all started. Some, something's happened. And um, I did hear your interview earlier in the week when you talked about this. And as I have thought about it, it, it really can be one of three things. I don't know today which it is. On, on the surface level, clearly it could indicate something personal has happened. The kind of quote seems to be beyond political. It seems mm -hmm. to almost be personal. So something personal could have happened that could be family related. There, there was a family connection there growing. Um, it could indicate that. It could indicate that, um, that Greg has decided that um, his support of Adrian hurts him politically. Sort of what Muhammad Ali called the rope-a-dope kind of effect. He could be playing a game on people. And and I think that was covered at, at some you point You mean this Tarver's week. support hurts Perkins? Tar Tarver could be hearing that his support could hurt Perkins. Okay. Um, some candidates are going to run exclusively pretty much in the Republican field, the Democratic field, the white field, the African-American community. Um, Perkins is trying to cross over. I think his real hope is to attract voters from both Democrat and Republican, black and white. And um, Tarver's support might hurt him in one of those camps. So Greg may be playing a political ploy Although the words sound a little harsh for that. Yes. And the third option is Greg could be looking at the field. Remember, we don't have a field yet. The qualifying is two right. weeks away. Mm -hmm. And so Greg could be looking at the field. He could be looking at polling numbers, the race, and decide that um, his candidate can't make it to the finals. You know, and you're he may, not. And he may be jumping horses. But, but this seems a little harsh for that. You're not the first person to speculate that perhaps Senator Tarver's motivation might be more political that it might not be that they might be playing a couple of games here and in fact one of shreveport's already declared mayoral candidates texted aaron and said i'll believe i'm paraphrasing just a bit but not by much i'll believe that tarver isn't backing perkins when he says what he said to aaron in the black churches well, and, and I heard that I heard that comment earlier. What, what I'll say is, a, I haven't talked to Greg. I, as, as I've been out of town for a couple of days, so I have not had a conversation with Greg. Um, I'll believe that Greg has changed horses when he publicly comes out and says who he's supporting. I think until that point, it's just going to be speculation. And one of the issues when you look at campaigns is, as I said a second ago, no one's qualified yet. We don't know who the field is. Mm -hmm. And when you turn, talk in terms of the support of Greg Tarver, the support of what's traditionally a political machine in this town, you're not going to really know where that support is till really election day. Okay. Who does Greg put on his ballot? Who does Greg right. have his inner circle, which includes a lot of African-American ministers and churches? And I think that's the comment you're referring to, Robert. Um, until you hear Tarver openly say, I'm supporting this person, anything can be mended. In today's politics, um, particularly the national politics, but if you bring it back down home, there's almost nothing you can say anymore that you can't undo. And so as, as this is this is two weeks before qualifying, and we're hearing all this, but we could wake up back, you know, coming up in October, and we could be in a whole new situation. Problems can be rectified. Let me ask you, let's run through the list then. You say Tarver could pick one of the other horses in the field. Re how realistically could he Pick Ollie Tyler. At this point, I don't think he'd pick Ollie Tyler. I, th I think he may have supported her quietly in the last election. The the problem you have is is that Greg Tarver has traditionally squared off against Cedric Glover, mm -hmm. and so I'll go there first. I don't see Greg coming around and supporting Stephen Jackson, right. who largely is supported by Glover and is in that camp. And so that's the big traditional split in the African American community. Is, which camp would you put Ollie in? A lot of people have said it was Glover, but she'll say no. 
she she's in neither camp. I think she ran, probably ran more with the um, the Glover support last time. She certainly had some people around her who were directly in the Glover camp. In fact, Stephen Jackson, who is the candidate this time, actually worked for Glover and then later worked for Ollie for a year mm-hmm. um, as her legislative aide down in Baton Rouge. So I don't think that Tarver's going to go in with Glover. They have they have been at odds way too long, all the way back to Alphonse Jackson, Lydia Jackson's dad. Mm-hmm. That 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 split has been there. So I don't think he's going. He could go with Tyler. Tyler. But I think Greg is a realist. I think he sees Tyler's um, maybe, you know, has, has a real struggle to get to the finals right now. I and think. he has a history, pardon me, of crossing um, um, not only party but racial lines and I, uh, with his support, as I recall, of, of Hightower, right? Correct. I think what's important with Greg, what's important in this race is this is the race for the mayor of Shreveport. But this is also the race um, behind the scenes to determine who are important people in the Shreveport, who are mm-hmm. the power brokers. And um, as you just mentioned, uh, I think Greg has a long history of not really caring who the mayor is, not really caring if they're Republican, Democrat, white or black. What he ends up caring is, am I the most powerful person in my community? As and I, long as he has the mayor's ear? Correct. And so I, I think that you could look across the, across the aisle, so to say, in this race, and you have candidates over there. At this point, that's where I'm, I'm going to just hold and see what Greg does. Because until Greg personally comes out and says, I'm for somebody, I think we're just speculating. But if you were a Jim Talaferro or a Leo Savage, would you even want or welcome Greg Tarver's support? I would not in the first round. Um, I don't think it's because, despite everything that's happened, the dynamics of the first round may not have changed very much. You still are going to have a large field. Uh, at this point, could be as many as eight, nine, who knows who else files. So you have a large field. So the dynamics do not change. The person that can get 25% makes the finals in this type of a field. Mm-hmm. So if I'm Leo Savage, if I'm um, Jim Talaferro, I'm not sure I make any deal right now. I'm not sure I'm looking for the support of anyone controversial. I can probably stay on my path and get to my 25 or 30% and make the finals. The, the dynamics might change on the African American side slightly in that Adrian might be a favorite over Stephen Jackson right now, depending on some, you know, maybe that's what flips. Maybe Jackson's now a slight favorite over Perkins. But at the end of the day, I'm not sure any of them makes huge changes related to Greg Tarver's position. Now, when you get to the finals and you have to have crossover vote, mm-hmm. if you're African American and need to get some white vote, if you're white and need to get some African American vote, now Greg's um, support becomes very important.